If you're looking to run virtual parent consultations online and you want parents to be able to sign up automatically and be notified of that, this is how you do it. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now we're going to be using something called appointment slots. Now appointment slots are part of Google Calendar. Now Google Calendar makes it super easy to set these up. You can pre-allocate the time and duration of each meeting and it automatically generates a Google Meet link for you to then share with your parents or students or whoever signs up for these slots. Now the first thing we'll do is open up our Google Calendar. So here I have a demo teacher account open and I'm going to open up my Google Calendar. So at those nine dots, I'm going to click on calendar. Now in my calendar, I have the option to now start adding events. Now the type of event that we're going to set up is going to be a parent consultation. This could be a number of different meetings where you want different colleagues to then choose the time that works best for them, or your students are choosing a time slot and then they come and they have a check-in with their tutors. All these are using the same technology and that is appointment slots. Now the first thing you do is select the entire time that you will be made available to everyone. So for example here, I'm going to be available from 8 till 10 tonight. So 8 till 10 p.m. We can now give it a title and I'm going to give it a title Parent Consultation. Now before I move on, double check that you have selected the correct time. We have 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. And then go ahead and select Appointment Slots. Now the Appointment Slots are now going to enable me to set predefined durations for each slot. Then when I share this calendar, people can choose different appointment slots and it'll automatically set everything up ready to go. So let's go ahead and do that now. We've got eight till 10 and I want each meeting to be 20 minutes long. So let's go ahead and select 20 minutes. We're going to leave everything as it is and then click on save. Now, if you have a co-teacher or multiple teachers that need to be notified of this meeting, go to more options and add them as a guest on the right hand side. This is where you can invite multiple teachers. Let's go ahead and save this. It automatically creates the appointment page. It is down here. You can see that we have our event. And when I click on that event, I can go to the appointment page for this calendar. When I click on the three dots, I get the option to copy or publish this event. Now let's go ahead and click on the appointment page for this calendar. I'm going to open this up. And this is what it will look like to people trying to sign up to meet with me. You can see down here, they have different slots, 8 till 8.20, 8.20 till 8.40, 8.40 till 9, etc., etc. Now, the great thing about appointment slots is once someone has signed up for a slot, it automatically disappears from everyone else's options. So it's no longer available for them to then choose. So let's go ahead and share this with someone. We're going to take that link at the top and copy the URL. We've now copied this URL and we're going to open up our demo student account. Student one, they paste that link or they click on the link that you've shared with them and they see the appointment page. They can now choose any of these slots and as soon as they choose them, I get a notification and it disappears for the others. So let's have student one selected the eight till 820 slot. They're going to add their name, student one, and then click on save. This now sends a notification to the teacher. We're going to do that same thing now with another student account, navigate to that same URL, and then they will select the middle one right here. So let's go ahead and click on this one, nine till 920, student three, save. We're going to do it one more time with student five. And as you can see, student five now only sees four available slots because the other two slots have already been booked by someone else. They can click on any of these, add their name, student five, and let's click on save. Okay, all good and well, but what does this look like to the teacher? Well, let's jump back into our teacher account. Here we are, and let's refresh this page. Our teacher now sees who has signed up, and they can see here that this has already been booked, booked, booked. There are still three available slots. Now, if you don't like this view, you can always use your regular calendar view right here. And then you will see that we have those slots there as well. Parent consultation, consultation, consultation. I like to use a different view. I like to use the schedule view. So here you can see schedule. When you click on schedule, you'll see the different events in order. So here you can see eight till 10 parent consultations. And these are broken down into eight till 820 student one. 8.40 till 9, student 5, 
9 till 9.20 student 3. This is incredibly useful. Now, when I click on any of these meetings, I automatically see that Google Meet code. This was generated with the appointment slots. So you can see that each of these parents has a different Meet code. And even better, when I go to Google Meet here on the Meet homepage, I will see those meetings in the correct order that they are taking place. You can see here at eight o'clock, I have student one. At 8.40, I have student five, and then at nine, student three. This is super useful for running virtual parent consultations, check-ins with tutors, or anything where you need a large group of people to automatically be assigned a meet without manually adding everyone to each individual appointment. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with someone who will find it useful. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.